this StatCast, we want to take a look at how we can use our graphing calculator to make a histogram of data. And so what we want to use is the uh, class height information. So here I am at the class website. I can just click on course information and click in the survey data file folder. And then if we click on the link that says survey uh, height data, we see the data items that we have collected. Now, um, there's no really real, real way to copy and paste uh, this information into our calculator, so we just have to type it in. So to do that, uh, let me pull up my calculator here. We can just hit the stat key on the calculator and then go to edit. That's option one. And notice there I've taken the liberty of writing the data items in. Uh, I just hit the enter key after each entry and have all that data that we just saw into our calculator. Well, the first thing we have to do is to find the smallest and greatest data items so we can, uh, one, establish a class width, and number two, determine the first and last class boundaries, so to speak, because we'll need that to, be get, the, to get the proper viewing window for our, for our calculator. So uh, the first thing we want to do is to sort the data from least to greatest, so to do that, I'll just hit the stat button and then I'll go ahead and hit option two for sorting in ascending order from least to greatest. So now I just go ahead and hit the enter key and our data is in list number one. So to call that up we'll just hit the second key and then number one and then we'll close the parentheses and hit enter. And now to notice if we go back to our data editing window by clicking on stat and then number one, we see now our data is ranked from least to greatest. So we see the smallest number there in the data set is 59. And we can scroll down to the bottom and find our biggest data item. And that number ends up being 72. So let's uh, collect our thoughts here so we can go ahead and uh, select the viewing window. We want to make a histogram of that survey height data using five classes. Our class width is the largest data item, that's 72, minus 59, that's the smallest one. And then we want to divide that difference by five. So we end up with 2.6, and we always want to round that up to the next higher whole number. So it looks like our class width is going to be three. Since the smallest data item is 59, our first class boundary, in other words, the lower boundary of the first class, is 58.5. And the last class boundary, in other words, the upper boundary of the fifth class, in this case, is 73.5. We took the largest data item and added on one half of a unit. Now, let's go ahead and use that information to set our viewing window so we can graph the histogram. Let's first set up the stat plot so we can do that. To do that, uh, to get the stat plot set up, we'll hit the second key and then Y equals to get the stat plot menu. And let's go ahead and put this plot in plot number one. I'll go ahead and hit the enter key now. And now we want to turn this plot on, so I'll just highlight on and click enter. Now notice uh, on my large screen here, we see in the top row of icons for the type, the one that looks like a histogram is in the top row, third position. So I'll just scroll over there, highlight that, hit enter. And remember our data is in list number one. So for X list, we can just leave that at number one. If you have it in a number in a different list, you can hit the second key and then the list number and call that correctly. Now, so we have now we have it set up. Let's go ahead and set our viewing window. I'll hit the window button and notice here uh, we want to set up our X min value to the lower boundary of the first class, our X max value to the upper boundary of the final class. The X scale is always the class width. I put in Y min as negative 3 just so we can see the horizontal axis. The Y max I set at 15 just to make sure that um, the, uh, the the frequency of the largest class is smaller than that Y max value. 
a Y scale of 1 is just fine. Now notice if we go ahead and hit the graph key, top row on the right, we get exactly the histogram we want. And notice now if we hit the trace key on our calculator, we see the boundaries, the class boundaries for class 1, and then the frequency of the class. Now if I hit the right arrow key, here's the boundaries of our second class, the min and max, with uh, a, a frequency of 10, and then the frequency of 5 for the third class and their class boundaries, and then we see the frequencies for the remaining classes. So that's how we want to make a histogram using our graphing calculator.